it's only mathematics that can give us that kind of answer, and, and that's one of the things that I, uh, the elegance and the clarity that it provides is what I like about it. I'm a faculty member in signal processing, and I work in the, uh, a general area of um, applying tools from random matrix theory to problems from signal processing. So signal processing at some level is the, the science of taking some kind of data um, and trying to extract some meaningful pattern from it, which we think of as being a signal. The particular focus of what I do is working with uh, data sets that are matrix valued, and these arise in practice when you think of, for example, radar or sonar, where you know the rows of maybe this this data matrix or spreadsheet, if you would, are maybe the sensors, and the columns are maybe time samples, or in other applications such as uh, in Netflix, for example, uh, one might think of the rows as being different movies and the columns as being different uh, uh, rate, you know customers that have looked at it and the kinds of ratings they put in. So the idea is when one has this kind of matrix value data set, how do you find the signals in it? The main idea behind at least what we do is that there are a lot of applications that share the same structure, as in you have a lot of sensors and you collect time series measurements and you want to extract some signal from it. Um, when it gets really fun for people who work in this area is when there's a lot of noise in it, which sort of makes it harder to find these patterns. If there was no noise, life would be very easy, but it's the presence of noise that makes it sort of fun for us. So in terms of concrete applications, um, we know that these applications are everywhere. Oceanography is one example where you might think of these sensors as being water buoys that are recording the heights of a, of a tide across the ocean, maybe with the objective of trying to detect a tsunami coming in, for example. So the, the part I like a lot about teaching is uh, you know, exposing people to these ideas that, that they haven't seen before. Um, many times, at least in these mathematical um, you know, intensive areas, the, the key idea often can be traced to just a few lines of maybe programming or maybe one key concept. In, in teaching, it's sort of fun to um, expose the student to that line of thinking and to, you know, introduce this mathematical way of thinking instead of just a, um, a way which says, do you get the answer or not? And, you know, when students look at that idea, you know, after they worked a lot for their exams and when we get to the applications where, uh, they themselves are able to fill in the blanks and say, aha, I, I can see how that concept comes in, then um, that's a very satisfying moment that, that, that makes it all worth it.